the home barista kind of niche crowd over you know the past years that have has arisen the all the reddit threads the barista forum threads the discord channels the youtube channels the facebook groups all of that is actually i think really also really beneficial mm -hmm. because um it's actually given way and space for people who want to grow and learn for there to be resources, yeah. helpful resources that they can go and study and look into. Yep. Like, that's powerful. Like, if you do go back 10 years, you might not have had all yep. those resources. Like, that's crazy. We live in a beautiful time where there's lots of information that you can use to grow and um, get those results or even just to nerd out and just yeah, to geek out. Fun. And that's fine. That's yeah. like, there's beauty and craftsmanship yeah. and passion and i mean we're a big part of that as well like yeah. just nerding out about for us that's a lot of is more, less brewing but more like roasting yeah and nerding about green quality and roasting specifics and curves and um yeah. all, all that stuff so yeah i mean in the same context like nate and i love talking about you know different green coffees that either we're buying or Velton's buying yeah and yeah. how great they are and how like under like underrated some coffees are and how like overrated other coffee like we love that area of the conversation yeah. so you, definitely not saying shy away from all the complexities and the niche mm -hmm. things no, no no just don't forget the basics i think also within all these complexities that we're bringing up we definitely gonna uh, we have to realize that home baristas have paved a way in certain areas. I remember talking to someone, don't remember exactly who it was, but we were talking about timing shots and how that phenomenon started and who realized that. And mm -hmm. someone uh, made a comment that, oh, it was this, this famous person started it. Mm -hmm. And another person's like, well, actually, and they had the receipts. Uh, they were like, no, it was a home barista. <laughs> yeah they actually came up with this idea and then they passed it on and it got into competition. And I think there's room for home baristas to experiment without uh, much risk or loss. I guess the biggest risk there is if you mess up a coffee, you don't have to drink it. Um, it's way different yeah. than if you mess up a coffee for a guest, they don't enjoy it, they don't come back and you just hurt the business. Yeah. But if you mess up a coffee for yourself, you just lost your dose of coffee yeah. and your time but you can always remake it like no one got hurt i think that's know? a very important thing to to highlight here because i think when you do it because you just love the craft and you're passionate about brewing coffee getting the utmost best extraction with the best coffee with mm -hmm. the best way possible and you don't have to worry about running a business doing all these things hopefully you didn't buy like ten thousand dollars worth of gear <laughs> on your credit card and you can't pay right. it off because you have to pay for all the other things yep. don't do that but if that's not you and if you wisely invested into all this gear that you enjoy using then guess what at the end of the day you're right like you're not losing very much by brewing a bad cup of coffee yeah. but i will say there are some very interesting things that can come out of out of practicing, out of learning, out of, um, yeah, out of just experimenting, yeah. um, because it's not, it's not in the, within the pressures of, of, of a high stake of a high mm -hmm. loss. Like, and I think the, the downside is oftentimes we oftentimes growth gets stunted and suppressed and innovation gets suppressed mm -hmm. because of those limitations of, you know, money or losses or you're afraid to do something yeah. different. I mean, we see this actually, I will say, we, we see this a lot with farmers and producers. Yeah. Where experimentation at their own cost is a very scary thing to do. Yeah. With different experiments. But it changes a little bit different when somebody can approach somebody and say, hey, can you experiment with this? I'll pay for the cost and the losses. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, that just leaves room for a lot of really great things. Yeah. So I think that's super important part of being a home barista is having the, that privilege and being able to do that. Um, gosh, I, I had another thought. Like, I, I'm glad that you made that connection with producers. It's actu actually like a very genius and excellent connection um, because... So I think a lot of the times for like home baristas, the advantage is the freedom to be curious, to be adventurous, to explore. 
And sometimes if you're a barista in a cafe, you're also getting paid to do a certain job or a role. So you have to execute on that. And I'm not saying like, especially like for me, I know like I work in a coffee shop and I would pride myself and pride the company that I work for narrative to be very like free to give baristas opportunities to even dial in and choose a coffee for the day. Like there is freedom in that I'm saying, but it's a different type of freedom than a home barista. Right. Yeah. So, and if you're, when I'm at home and when I have all of these devices to brew with and I have some coffee, dude, I just go ham. I don't care. Like, am I going to drink this or not? Maybe, maybe I'll take a couple of sips and then it sparks another idea like, Oh, I should try this. How will that affect extraction? So there always, there's this curiosity that there's a fire behind it. There's this, um, adventurous spirit behind it that allows you to come up with new ideas and maybe discover ideas that no one's ever tried, you know? 